What's up, Tech Heart? Dude, some big news from CommodoreOS.net. Just a few weeks ago, maybe months, back in April, Perry Fractic and the Commodore OS people that just bought the rights to Commodore and are bringing us many new products released Commodore OS Vision 3.0. It's a Linux distribution based on MX Linux, I believe, with lots of whiz-bang animations and other fun stuff. If Commodore, the company, would have continued, this might be a Linux distribution that they would have released in current times. There's a lot of Commodore and Amiga emulation, there's many Linux games, and this time it rings in at 32 gigabytes. It's flipping huge! So let's go download Commodore OS ISO. I think there's a torrent where we can grab it from. Let's burn that to a USB stick with Rufus if you're on Windows, or Belina Etcher if you're on Linux, or with DD if you're a hacker, you know what I mean? And let's install this bad boy and see what all the fuss is about. Are you excited about Perifractic? That's a YouTube channel uh, that you can find, and they just bought the rights to Commodore, the company, and they're releasing the, I think it's the Commodore Ultimate. It's an FPGA Commodore. I think it's like $300 to $499, depending on the version that you order, but it's gonna bring us Commodore hardware, or what's not emulation, but should be considered Commodore hardware today. Hey, listen, if you're not subscribed to TechHeart, it really helps the channel. Please do so down below, push the like button, blah, 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 blah. who cares? Let's go, let's fire up Commodore OS Vision 3.0. Okay, so let's get booted into this 32 gigabit Commodore OS ISO installer USB stick. I'll press enter. F12. Let's select this USB stick. I'll boot in. Now, when I get booted in, since I'm on a capture card, I might have to change some settings. So I'll just select Commodore OS Vision. Beautiful. If you stop me up, if you stop me up, I'll never stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Commodore OS Vision. And we're greeted, welcome to Commodore OS Vision version 3.0. This just gives us some information. Phone support is not active. So we'll select OK here. To continue. To use Commodore OS Vision, you agree to the following terms. Ooh, we've got terms to agree to. I think I'm gonna take them. Listen to all those neat sound effects. Turning on the Commodore OS animated wallpaper. Woo! Look at that wallpaper, baby! I'm gonna live on the edge and skip checking the installation media. We're going to use the entire disc. Booyah! This will format and use the entire SDA disc. Woo! Hyper mode, baby! The computer name and domain are fine for me. Change my locale. Los Angeles. Let's go. And here we'll just wait for the install to complete. I might fast forward this, baby. Hello, and welcome to Commodore OS Vision. You are now listening to Commodore OS Radio. Oh yeah. I am your host. The voice, the spirit, of Commodore OS Vision, and the new Commodore 64X, available now from MyRetroComputer.com. What do we think about the that new Commodore? The you just listened to was the famous Ocean Loader 2, by Martin Galway. 
I'm afraid the installation is going to take approximately 40 minutes. So sit back and enjoy some more great Commodore 64 music whilst Commodore OS installs. See if you can guess the next C64 tune. So we're definitely going to fast forward. I'll catch you guys when this is a wrap. Let's go! Okay, Rockstars, it looks like we're done. Automatically reboot the system when the installer is closed. Let's go! Here we go, baby. All right, we look good. Check out that grub theme. This is going to be a really cool OS, man. This is what Commodore might have created if they had a current Linux distro. Hmm. Consider changing your password. Well, yeah, I want to change my password. It looks like the current password is set to C equals. Okay. Username, Commodore. Let's change that password. C equals, authenticate, and now we can make a change. I'll set mine to password. These keyboard shortcuts will help you navigate the system and use the more advanced features of Commodore OS Vision. So it tells us a bunch of keybinds. This is nice. Good, good. You might find these tips and suggestions useful. Perfect. And we can always get back to these tips and suggestions through System, Commodore OS, Tips and suggestions. Booyah! See all the neat effects? Let's dig on into Commodore OS. I know that they added a new settings feature. Right here, Commodore OS settings. Let's jump into that. Oh, cool. Looks just like a Commodore. Commodore OS settings manager. Okay, we can update Commodore OS. Let's check for that. Now attempting to update Commodore OS. Beautiful. This is Funky Fresh. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. We're going to dig in and see what else Commodore, is complete. Commodore OS Vision 3.0 has to offer. Let's check out startup settings. Commodore OS startup settings. Ooh, animate wallpaper on startup. I'm just going to put this to full tilt, so I'm going to turn that to on. We'll get all the crazy effects. They've written their own basic programming language for Commodore OS. Let's go to general settings. Commodore OS general settings. Sound settings, change Commodore OS language and locale. Commodore dock icon launch settings. I don't need to change any of that. Emulation settings. Commodore OS emulation settings. Right here you can do the Cloanto Commodore ROM setup. So for Amiga systems, you'll need the Amiga ROMs. Some people can find it online, but you can also buy it, I think, for like $3 from Cloanto. And I'll try to throw the website right up here. And here's where you can throw those ROMs in nice and easy if you don't want to mess with Win UAE or whatever emulator they're using. Okay, let's get out of there. That's a cool settings manager. Let's see if there's any other unique Commodore OS system stuff. We can go to preferences, hardware, internet and network, look and feel. It's cool. You can do your appearance stuff. Mate tweak. Other. Personal. So now that I've turned on that Commodore OS animated wallpaper, I don't know what I think about that. I'm going to leave it for the video. But what do you guys think? Are you going to use these animated wallpapers? We just turned them on in setup. I'm going to let it ride. But I don't know. It's pretty busy, baby. Let's go check out this distribution. Now, one of their big things was all of the games that they had installed. So I guess we can go find those. Oh, yeah. And they got tons of games. Action. And just tons. Adventure. Beat em up. Board games. Desktop. Fantasy RPG. First person shooters. Is Doom here? Oh, I don't see it. No Xandronum. Come on. Throw on the Doom Seeker. But they do have open arena. Platformers. Puzzle. Racing. They got Chrome Mag. Ooh, and Stunt Car Racer Remake. A lot of fun stuff in here. Stunt Rally. Super Tux Cart, of course. Shoot 'em ups. Is Xandronum here? Nope. But lots to choose from. Sim games. Sports. And strategy. So let's try out one of these games. Let's check out Breakout. 
This could be fun, no? Oh, here we go. Nice. I could get lost here for hours. The point is, the boys over at Commodore have given us lots of new Linux games. Fun times, rock stars. Oh yeah, blowing stuff up now. Uh-oh. Another ball. Ooh, I got the magnet thing. I lost one of them. Come on, baby. Finish it off. There we go. So there you go. You got breakout. Lots of fun stuff. Bob's your uncle. So I don't know if I like that animated wallpaper. I think we could turn it off easy enough. Turn down, I believe we can get to it up here. Animate wallpaper toggle. Now turning. The animated wallpaper off. Bye bye. For accessories, we have a terminal. Let's check that terminal out. I think it's pretty cool. Very nice. It looks super Commodore like. We have all of our normal Linux commands. But yeah, nice terminal. Feels fun. Got everything we need a PDF viewer a document scanner, passwords and keys, backup software. He has some education stuff for design. We have FreeCAD, game services and tools. Oh cool, we have Line, Lutris, Play on Linux, and Proton Tricks, so we can run Windows stuff if you want. For graphics, got a lot of stuff here, including Libra Sprite, Image Viewer, and Blender, but we have an Amiga Deluxe Paint Clone. Nice, like the old Amiga paint application. Bob's your uncle, baby. Check heart? Oh boy, I'm not a painter. <laughs> you have all your internet stuff. Chromium, Discord, FileZilla, Firefox, Google Chrome, Google Earth, Slack, Spotify, TeamViewer. Man, you're ready to go. We got LibreOffice on deck. For programming, there is a Commodore OS Basic and a Commodore OS Basic Studio. I think it has extra graphics stuff and all sorts of different basics, Scratch, Visual Studio Code, Fuse Basic, Unity Hub even. Lots of programming chops. He has some sound stuff. There's a SID music editor, SID player, Amiga Mod Music player and tracker, Winamp. Who remembers Winamp? Gotta love it, even though it's way too smiggity small. Baby. You have webcam software, OBS Studio, OpenShot Video Editor, Plex Media Server, VLC, is there Cody in there? Yes, there is. You have tons of system tools. Now on to your Commodore emulators and other emulators from GameBase to Atari to the Commander X16 to MSX, Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation, Je Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, ZX Spectrum. Dang, we're rocking. Now we're gonna have Vice on deck. So we'll just be able to load up any Commodore software or a D64 or other Commodore stuff. That's nice. I believe for your Amiga emulators like WinUAE, we're going to have to add ROMs. Yeah, and it tells us right here where to add those ROMs or we can do it in that setup. But as I mentioned, you can buy them from Cloanto for around $3. Or I heard archive.org is a nice place. So you have every Commodore emulator. You have WinUAE for Amiga and Commodore 65 even. Lots of stuff, man. So what do you guys think about this operating system? It has a lot of graphical throw up everywhere. I'm gonna toggle that animated wallpaper. The Commodore MS animated wallpaper. Would you come to this OS to play old Commodore games and applications? I think that I would. This is a new release for 2025, and let me know down in the comments, are you gonna dive into Commodore OS? Because it's staying on this system, Rockstars, Tech Heart, out!